everybody and welcome back. Today um, I'm just going to go over my best so sales for the month of July. Yeah. For July, not many to go through as if you have been watching my what sold videos for July, you'll know that I've said um, I think this is one of the worst months that I've ever had reselling, which is unfortunate because that was um, kind of the second month that I had started doing this full time. So it definitely kind of made me wonder if I made the right choice of quitting my full-time job, but things are picking up. Um, I think we're turning a corner here. I hope so. I'm getting a little bit more creative on what I'm doing to generate some income besides just the traditional online selling. I do also go to Plato's Closet quite frequently. I send things into ThreadUp. I also send things to the Real Real. So I have some other things kind of working in the background that I can do some videos on in the future. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna flip you around here and I will show you the best sales of July. Starting with Poshmark, we have a Karen Kane dress. Um, this I got from a Quick Lutz and I think my cost of goods are normally around four to $8 for that. And this brand I've said in the past, Definitely didn't think it was a great brand, but now that I'm selling it, it does seem to sell pretty quickly in bigger sizes and new with tag. Next is the J. Crew. This was also new with tags. It was a men's large, kind of a heavyweight work shirt, almost a jacket. This I got from a flip flat, and this sold for $50 pretty quickly, and this did sell in July. So, I mean, maybe I could have held out for a little bit longer to get a little bit more, but with flip lots, I try and sell as quickly as I can for as much as I can. Next was this Sacred Threads, kind of a mix match pattern, um, like a little bit longer of a jacket. This I picked up at Goodwill. I did pay up a little bit. I paid $12. Um, I had some low ball offers when I first had it out and I did just kind of hang on because I I think it's a really cool jacket and I knew someone would appreciate this so that was 70 this came from another quick lots box this is sea level it's uh, more of a higher end swimsuit brand it was new with tags a size four and this sold for $45 seven for all mankind jeans this also came from a quick lots um, this paid for six or this was $65 new with tags. It kind of was like that faux leather that had a sheen to it. Next is this Azizi, I believe you pronounce it. It's um, a bridesmaid's dress. This also could have been a bride's dress. It was kind of like a whitish cream. I think it was white. This I got at our version of the bin, so I think I only paid maybe one or two dollars. And it was also a custom size. That's one thing you need to look out for, for kind of the mass marketed bridesmaids dresses that you can get online where people can put in their actual measurements and then a custom dress is made for you. So this one I did just take a bunch of measurements and somebody did purchase this for $42. This is a poor pair of Corral ankle cowboy boots. These I paid, I think, $30 at Goodwill, and these sold within probably two months. On eBay, this came from a Quick Lots. This was a Vince. It was black linen a pullover. This, I think, sold within two weeks. And this came from a Thread Up shoebox, Charleston Shoe Co. I had never heard of this brand. When I first pulled them out, I threw them in the pile that probably was thinking I probably am just going to donate these, but I thought just based on the color, I should probably just take a look and look them up, and I'm glad I did because these sold. Um, I think it took a while. I listed these in the winter, but they did eventually sell, and then the last one was on Macari. It was a Free People um, sequence, bodysuit. This was new with tags. And this was sold for $75. So looking into the future, August has definitely been better than July. Um, I do truly think that it was kind of partial to the summer slowdown, the economy not being the greatest. 
Um, now that school is picking or starting, I think sales are picking up. Um, definitely on higher end, I not technically higher end, but higher costing items, jeans, coats, that kind of thing. Where summer you're kind of more looking at lower cost items such as shorts, tank tops, short dresses, that kind of thing. So, you know, fingers crossed here that coming up in August, I will have more items to show you that were over $40. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you want to make sure that you always catch my new ones, I have been putting out three a week. That's kind of been my goal here. Always a what sold Monday, I think I always do that. And then normally a thrift haul. And then the other one is either maybe going to be something more informational or one of these or possibly another thrift haul depending on what I have going on that week. So if you like the video, please make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks a lot.